Hey everybody, Jamie here with my first update since I put out the video about uh, setting some fitness goals in the next couple of months. You guys really responded well to this and I'm, I'm so proud of everybody that wants to step up and, and make changes. Let me just go over the list real quick and uh, talk a little bit about momentum and synergy and uh, success through small steps. I'll keep this brief. Fitness goals, me, lose 10 pounds. Urbanite, gain 13 pounds to get to 175. My Wild Dreams wants to be able to do pistol squats. And uh, he had something else, six minute mile I think it was. So My Wild Dreams and he's on Instagram. We're gonna talk about Instagram in just a minute. Dark Blue Matter wants to gain five pounds. He's got some stuff going on with his stomach. We wanna make sure, his or her stomach, we wanna make sure that um, everything's healthy in that weight change. Tina, ZenQuest, Journey, 10 pounds, fat to muscle, so not really gaining or losing, but just transforming. That's really good. Major Havoc has uh, checked in, but has not set a goal yet. Uh, Bev K wants to lose 10 pounds. Uh, and I have goal one mile. Uh, St. Trinian's. T-R-I-N-I-A-N-Z, uh, massage therapist, not ready to go public yet, but uh, is thinking about it. Lamar Harding, get to 12 stone, and gonna have to give up those chocolate donuts and, and, and Pringle chips. So I believe in you, I believe you can do it. We can, But when you give something up, substitute it for something else. So bananas, plums, you know, we wanna substitute it. That's how that stuff works better. Tribal Van Life, Tony. Lose 24 pounds, uh, final weight by November 1st. Lake Antler, lose 28 pounds. That's awful ambitious, but I believe you can do it if you say you can do it. Remember, 28 pounds uh, in two months is uh, half of that's gonna be 14 pounds, uh, and then half of that again is gonna be seven pounds, and then half of that again is three and a half pounds, so we wanna make sure three and a half pounds a week, basically. We'll break it up and make sure we're on track. Cool Cat Carolina. Check in with her doctor. Uh, hope your back is uh, okay, cool cat. Been around a long time on the channel. I really appreciate it. And then uh, Lori Smith, 15 pounds in two months. Uh, Julie Tooley, minus 10 pounds in two months. Brian Darnell, lose 15 pounds. Maria G, 10 to 15 pounds by November 1st. Great Depression 2, wants to get to 6% body fat. That is super ambitious. Uh, but I believe you know what you're doing if you're gonna set this goal, so. And then the Soulful Tramp, Jamie K. I need your goal. Uh, let's see, London Calling, Anna, down seven pounds. All right, Anna, we're gonna be watching. We're gonna be watching your channel. Let's see, Holly Adams. Holly, you did a great job on your video, and I'm so proud of you that you're uh, taking this step forward, and we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, habits that uh, create success. She's gonna go down 20 pounds. Go check out uh, Holly Adams. I put everybody's uh, name and what their goal is and their uh, link in the notes of the first video. Kathy Ronsetti, R-O-N-C-E-T-T-I from Ontario, wants to lose 15 pounds. All right, Kathy. Deborah Langley, uh, Needs to lose 50 pounds to reach her goal. She wasn't super specific about what she, what it's gonna be by November 1st. Uh, Reese Schmidt, eight pounds. Full tiny house. Dana, need your goal. Uh, Crunchy Shad TV, need your goal. A gypsy Gal, 54, minus 40 pounds. I don't know if that's uh, in two months or if that's your overall goal. Let us know. Second act, Jen, gonna lose 20 pounds by November 1st. That's a good solid goal. Terry Gus is gonna lose 10 pounds. Jeffrey Whitaker, been around a long time. What's up, Jeffrey? Uh, watching the channel. Let's see, he's gonna lose 12 pounds. I believe he can do it. No money nomad, <laughs> minus 20 pounds. Uh, 10 for himself and 10 for uh, Sean Ace O'Connor who recently passed away, so I never, had the pleasure of meeting Sean, but I'm really sorry to hear about what happened there. And uh, we're really uh, praying for the for his uh, wife, girlfriend. 
sorry to hear about that, but uh, No Money Nomad is going to lose some weight in, in his honor. And so Cool and Green, number one, minus 20 pounds. That's Lucinda. Joni Carroll is going to lose 20 pounds. Just Floating, just checked in, is going to lose 10 pounds. And Jam Bryant, just checked in and is going to lose 15 to 20 pounds. <sighs> These are some great goals. And, and uh, I'm really proud of you guys for, for setting some goals and, and wanted to have a new start. If you are watching this and you want to, you don't have any kind of a fitness goal, think about this. Maybe in the next two months, you could learn one word a day of Spanish and have 60 words down by November 1st. Or maybe you want to lose, you know, learn five chords on the guitar or the ukulele. So it doesn't have to be a fitness goal. If you want to come in on something and have some accountability on another type of goal, we can mark that down too. All right, so now I want to talk about what it takes to be successful. This guy, this guy living in his van is going to talk about that, but really there is something to be said about it. And uh, the way that we achieve success is by taking small steps every day and having uh, set rituals that we do every day. And so we can't get fit in one day. We can't lose 20 pounds in one day, but we can get up every day and eat the right foods that over time will get us to that goal. And so it's just as simple as if you, if you, if this is new to you and you don't know where to start, it could start with not eating processed foods, but instead eating a piece of fruit. We want to always substitute one for the other, but it's going to be that, uh, it's going to be that slow change over time. That's going to uh, lead to success. Now, another thing is, we can build some synergy with us. We should be doing that anyway for all of us and be supporting all of us anyway. But we can build some synergy and some momentum. And one of the ways that we can do that with, that I would like to suggest is that we all post pictures on Instagram every day of what we're doing. Just one thing we're doing that day for everyone else to see. In my case, I just posted a picture of the inside of my uh, grocery cart and it had uh, two 18 packs of eggs, it had some cottage cheese, it had some, my thing is I don't eat. I don't think about food and I need to change that. So I got bananas, apples, plums, eggs, cottage cheese. And so I'm gonna try in between my regular stuff that I would do to always be eating something. And I put a picture of that on Instagram. So if you have an Instagram account, put it in the comments right now and we'll get everybody's Instagram accounts. I'll go ahead and aggregate them into the notes of these videos if uh, so there'll, there'll be one place where we can get them all. If you don't have an Instagram account, what Instagram is is it's just a it's a social media platform where you can post pictures and little comments about the pictures. So let's use that to build momentum and uh, post a picture a day, a picture every couple of days, whatever, but we want to be doing something every day. And this will make it more at the forefront of our consciousness. And it's also another form of accountability. So everybody, I would invite you to, to set up some Instagram. Maybe we'll come up with a hashtag, like uh, hashtag uh, van build transformation. And then you could put the hashtag in and all our stuff will come up if that hashtag is in every post. But uh, let's use social media and accountability in our favor and uh, the next step, let's set up that Instagram account and start posting to each other what we're doing every day. Because if we think about this every day and we take small steps every day, by the time we get to the end of a couple of months, we're going to be there. So thanks everybody for checking in. If making some kind of a transformation isn't your thing and you're watching this and you're going, oh my gosh, what's going on with this channel? It's going off the rails. We're just doing something alongside of the other stuff that we would normally be doing anyway. So the interviews are never gonna change. The process with the van's never gonna change. We're just uh, doing a little side uh, self-improvement. So come on board with that or just continue on how things were. But in the meantime, I'll get this up and I'll be looking for your Instagram channel and I hope you guys are doing small steps every day because that's what's gonna get us there. All right, I believe in you. I'll see you on the next upload.